Airborne videos. I'm Peter Loshek. Today is March 7th and we are continuing our uh, spring training coverage that we've been doing with Doug Upstone, uh, taking a look at some of the teams uh, that he's watching live playing uh, in their spring training games. He is on the scene in Arizona covering uh, these games and teams remotely with us. Uh, Doug, thanks for being back with us. Hey, Peter, my pleasure to be here. Uh, yes, we're in downtown Scottsdale today and at, at Giant Stadium. And uh, one of the things that's uh, kind of unique about this park, uh, as opposed to some of the others, some of m many of the others have a uh, uh, what I would call a uh, uh, family friendly situation. Mm -hmm. Here you get a lot of uh, in the outfield, a lot of 20 somethings. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's the closest thing, quite honestly, to a party that you'll find at any spring training event. And the amount of eye candy is, well, let's just say really? it's pleasing to the eye. What do you mean? The chicks are pulling their shirts up and stuff like that? Or what no, not, 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 not like that. But I mean, they're just, uh, they're, there's there's some attractive women. Let's put it that way. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm sure spring training is a party. It sounds like it's a fun time. I wish I was there partying it up with you, Doug Upstone. But uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm stuck here crunching stats. But that's a close second. I love doing this stuff, man. I love handicapping everything, individual games, forecasting for the uh, regular seasons. And right now, we're going to take a look at San Francisco. Now, San Francisco last year was, uh, was one of the worst bets in baseball. If you bet against them every game last year, you, you made a lot of money. Last year, they were number 26 in the money standings, down 21 units. They were bad on the road, bad at home. You know, they had a decent bullpen, but they just didn't have the offense. You know, the starting pitching faltered a little bit, and they were just overvalued in general the whole season long. You think we're going to see the same thing from them in 2014? Not at all. I, I, mm. I think that uh, I think it's going to be a bounce back situation really? okay. for the Giants. I'm not saying that they're going to reach 90 wins, mm -hmm. but I think they'll definitely be much improved. And I think the, they're a solid choice to finish second in the division. One of the things that when you look at how they do things, uh, general manager Brian Sabian is never one to just uh, rebuild everything. He tends to retool. And I think a lot of the players that they lost last year that were from injury are, are healthy again, uh, particularly in the bulk in the bullpen and some of the guys in the everyday lineup. So I think that you know there's a really good chance that they they come back just in general. And I think also the the wear and tear of playing, you know, winning two championships out of three years. You know, took its toll on some of yeah. these different guys, like a Matt Cain last year, who only won eight games. I think uh, you know a full off season of not pitching pressure packed uh, October games will help a lot of the pitchers as well. See, I'm feeling that like uh, even if they do improve in the standings a bit, that people still have this image of them, and that you know they have some starting pitchings with with some huge names. I'm thinking they're still going to be maybe not quite as overvalued as last year, but I'm predicting you know at least bottom half of the money standings for them overall. I, yeah, I, I would tend to think that they'd probably be middle. I mean, mm -hmm. would they still be a public team I do agree with you Peter yeah. I, I think that that's definitely a possibility but I think you know with their lineup I think they're going to score more runs uh, Brandon Belt has proven to be a stick now uh, Buster Posey and Hunter Pence are you know are solid players and they were 10th in runs scored last year and Peter you can write this down anybody mm -hmm. can hold me accountable for this Pablo Sandoval will have a big year because mm. he's a free agent this upcoming offseason, mm -hmm. and his M.O. is when he needs to perform, <laughs> okay, when it comes to money, he's going to get the job done. So you see uh, their offense is being a much improved this year then? Um, offense will definitely be improved, and I think their pitching will come back. I'm not saying it's going to be maybe at the level because Tim Lincecum is no longer a truly right. elite pitcher, you know, like years ago. But Madison Bumgarner is, mm -hmm. is certainly, you know, I mean, if he's not the official ace, he's the unofficial right. ace. And I definitely think Matt Cain is in the, you know, will be more in that 15 or 14 to 16 win area this upcoming season. All right, interesting. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking right now uh, maybe we identify who the pitchers are who are, who are pitching well. Bet on the Giants in those games, and um, in the other games, bet on them on the over when they're on the road. What do you think about that? I, I, I can certainly see that being a possibility. You know, their win total is uh, at 86, and I think that number is pretty accurate mm -hmm. uh, in terms of where they should end up. All right. Thanks so much, Doug.